Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. My name's Susie, and today I'm going to show you what's going on with this 120 gallon. So come along with me, Susie Q. So I had silver dollars in two separate quarantine yeah. tanks because I got them at two different places, and I had yeah. Severums in three different tanks. So I got all the Severums and all the yeah. silver dollars from all their quarantine tanks and add them into here. I had also had three baby Oscars in here I thought would be okay, but the Oscars were a little bit meaner than some of these already, even as babies. So I put them in their own 40 gallon breeder. So if in this footage you see some baby Oscars, they're not in here anymore. I moved them over. As I'm adding these fish to this tank, I decide to use the, the, the overflow and the dry sump and the pump started making noise. And then I remembered why I turned that pump off, because it was making noise. So now it's time to get it fixed. Um, I've always had two sponge filters going, so I knew I had a backup. And it got so loud, I had to turn it off. And what happened was the casing of the pump broke. Let me, let me take you on the journey of getting this fixed. Teller housing broke. There's no piece in here. This is like the second time it broke. So what's causing it to continually break, do you think? I think maybe if a rock gets in there. Or something, because it's only a plastic housing. It only takes a little piece of rock or something to crack it and then the propeller freewheels loose in there and it's noisy and it doesn't work. So And it was getting noisy. The housing is only about twelve bucks. I'll show you what this looks like. So this is the broken part in here. This is what breaks this piece. So, opening this up comes with a little gasket. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying now. Okay. I'm going to shove this on. Like that. Okay. This is the way we're connecting ours. This just goes to the piece inside. Yeah, we got that replaced. Got it from the pond guy. And when we put it back together again, and I say we, meaning John helped me tremendously, it made this horrible noise, and we knew that was the impeller. Hang on. So then I had it, we take, took it apart again, and ordered an impeller and waited for that to come in. So I just got the part in for the pump. Let's hope that this will work. No, Sophie, you're not gonna start. So let's hope this was the right impeller part because of course all the labels have been worn off of the pump so badly that I cannot tell which pump it actually is. And here is the impeller. And this is a replacement peller for the 1200 mag pump. I'm going to see if this works. So I tried to connect the pump, but I wasn't able to. So I went out and got John's help again. What I did was I lifted it up. Yep. I lift the back up and uh -huh. took that one down. Right. Watch. Go underneath this way. And then. And is the foam still on? No, but we can oh. put that on. But you just pull it towards you. Okay. That's it. And then you just want to push the top and the bottom like that just to make sure it's solid. That's it. And now that I, I messed up the whole sump underneath, it's all filled with dirty water now. But so that's how it's supposed to sound. Oh, and there's like no sound at all. I love it. Now that the impeller came in and we were able to put it back together, so 
So, of course, everything from the dry sump below, everything from the sump below got mixed up and shot that in. So, I wanted to see how long it would take to clear up, and it cleared up pretty quick. So, I was very happy about that. But this is my 120 gallon Sevrum tank with my Bradori in it. Also has my little school of silver dollars and some giant Danios that aren't so giant yet, but they will be. I did have baby Oscars in here before I put all the Severums in here, but I moved them to a 40 gallon breeder because the, one of them was a little edgy. <laughs> And I didn't want to stress out the silver dollars or any of the other fish, so I swapped them out. And this is my end result for now. Uh, because of the severums are in here, I am not going to put live plants in here. I'm going to keep it with plastic plants. I might get some silk plants because I really like the way silk plants look. So now I'm going to drop the GoPro in there and get some footage. I'm trying to find a good spot. Here's a shelf back here. I'll give that a shot. Everybody is Susie Q. Hey, everybody is Susie Q. Nah, nah, hey, everybody is Susie Q. So come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q.